Hey, Ron, I was thinking about it. I made another video and it was just as confusing. I'm going to take out one of the steps for this. I think an easier way to do this might just be to do it by hand. So I'm going to, um, here's Arc Pro again. Um, and let's see, um, this one, I just did this one again. So I'm going to, um, click on this one and click on it and pause. And then I can take this and say done. Uh, we're going to do number 10. So I'll turn this off. These are the KML files I've brought in for you. And when you bring this up, you can see here are these individual ones that you've done. And what you want to do is zoom in on these and look and see like if the polyline does not have a good join, what you need to do is click on it under edit, go to edit, and then hit select, and then click on this, and then go to edit vertices, and drag this back. Um, keep on the blue line so you preserve the geometry. And there, and hit check. And then that one's better. Otherwise, it won't join. So let's look at this one. Yeah, this is a big open one. So you want to double click on this one and bring this forward and then drag this down. And I don't know how you created the geometry in these, but I'm trying to keep the angles the same. Um, this one looks pretty good. Like it's pretty much closed. This one looks pretty close as well. So what we can do at this point is now go to select and we'll select up. Oh, I'm going to turn off points because that does weird things. Select all these polylines. And then what we'll want to do is we're going to want to construct polygons for this. So you go up here to the tools and you go down on this and construct polygons. And it brings up all this information. All you have to do is hit construct. And these will all turn into shaded polygons. And then you hit save. Now what we need to do is you'll notice that the, these polygons are now in Deeds New Ron. And so Deeds New Ron right here. So what we want to do is turn on points. And what we'll want to do is, in this case, when you click on points, what's showing is the name. And we want the pop-up information. So you go to labeling and change name to pop up. And now what we can do is we can begin entering this stuff right here. So D code right here. This is going to be Virginia patent patent book. O one three colon one fifty five. And when you hit enter, you just have to remember this is going to disappear. So VPB 013155, enter. And it's that polygon is going to disappear. Now we'll go to this one. This is 01524. 015, 015124. And so this is in, in lieu of doing what I was showing you before. And when you click on this one, here's the blue, here's the blue. So it's this one. This is Virginia, um, Virginia patent book 017 colon 085. Hit enter and it disappears. I've got the this this set to null, and uh the only ones that'll appear are ones that are null. This last one here is this one, double click, 011 colon 184. Oops, 011 colon 184. You have to double click to change these guys. And then, um, yeah, so, and then, uh, these guys are gone and they're not appearing anymore. And you're and so we've done number 10. So we'll click on this one, 
click on it lightly to change the name and say done. And then it's done. And so we can turn this guy off. So that's how you do it. And you just go through and do each of these like that. So hopefully this will be easier. Thanks, Ron. I'll show you this tomorrow as well.